Hello, this is Shadow of the Moon, and today I'm going to be doing a second budget Blackwing deck profile for December of 2021. Now, I know this is a random video because I actually have a actual my actual Blackwing deck prof profile coming soon, but I wanted to get you guys prepared for this one just to show you a cheaper way to be able to build Blackwings. Um, I know nowadays with a lot of the cards that come out and everything, like I've said in my last video, that some of the cards can be a little bit pricey and then... You know, none of us have really have time for that and everything. But you're wanting to, but you want to play with a fast deck. You want to play with black wings, but you really have no way to be able to do it because some of the cards can be somewhat expensive. Well, this deck is to actually show you that yes, black wings can be affordable and actually can be fun um, to be able to play with what you have in here. It's more of a cheaper alternative because before I actually upgraded my my actual black wing deck, the one that I have, um, I actually did play with this deck. This was the kind of black wing deck that I played with because it was a lot more cheaper and it was more affordable and it was a lot more fun because it focused more focused more on the black wing aspect of it. Now I did change it change this and update it a little bit, but it still is majority a black wing deck. It just has actually, believe it or not, it actually gained a few negates to be able to kind of have answers for your opponent's stuff. So I think you're really gonna enjoy this video. And I just want to say thank you to my subscribers, my new ones, you guys rock. Thank you so much for watching my videos and always commenting and stuff and just posting and everything in general. And just taking the time out to just view everything, all my content. Because I always try to show you the best content that I can. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so obviously first you're going to have three copies of Simon, the Poison Wind. By revealing him from your hand and banishing a Blackwing monster, you can automatically activate Black Whirlwind from your deck, meaning it immediately goes straight to the field. And then from there, you can activate his effect to normal summon him. Now, what makes this guy really cool is this counts as an effect normal summon, like type of normal summon, so you actually gain an additional normal summon the same turn you activate this effect, which really helps Blackwings take off and being able to go into all your crazy plays. Blackwings are essentially fast, and in my opinion, are probably the fastest archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh, period, just because of being able to easily get five monsters on the field and have so much more fuel in your hand to be able to keep going with your plays. And this deck does not disappoint since this is a more pure Blackwing deck. Um, every monster in here is a Blackwing, so you'll be able to get into your plays a lot quicker and be able to search your deck, dig into your deck to be able to get those cards that you need. And then we've got three copies of Chris the Cracked Dawn. It may not be as good as Bora, but he can be special summoned if you have a Blackwing monster on the field. Also, he is unaffected by spell and traps once per turn, making him very, very useful. And since he's a 1900, he's a 1900 beater. Then you've got three copies of Bora the Spear. This is quite possibly the best, one of the best cards in here because it is not once per turn to be able to special summon it. So if you have another Blackwing uh, on the field, you can special summon this as long as it's not bore the spear. And if he somehow goes back to the hand, you can also special summon this again using his effect, which can happen quite a bit. He's one of the main level fours in the stack. All right, and then three copies of Oster the South Wind. If you want to knock this down to two, you totally can. That's up to you. I'm running three because I don't really see any problem with running three in the deck since I control. Since this is more of a pure black wing deck, um, it doesn't slow me down, obviously. But yeah, if you choose to only want to run two, that is completely up to you. It has the effect that it gains, it can special summon the banished monster that was used using Simon. Um, and also has a secondary effect that when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to gain, to give all your opponents wedge counters, which is very important to be able to use your full armor masters, like actual effect, to just field wipe them and also to con take control of their monster that has wedge counters on them. All right, and then we've got three copies of Zephyrus the Elite. You want to see him and Sight Moon in the same hand because he works so well with it. If he's in the graveyard, you can bounce back a face-up card to be able to special summon it, and you take the 400 damage. But he becomes an additional four, uh, level 4, and he comes back from the graveyard. Also, he can prevent you from losing a 1,000 with the uh, Black War one if you bounce back that, which is mainly what you're going to be using him for. And yes, I do know that it's only once per turn, or once per duel, but the idea is for you to be able to get him and Sight Moon in the hand as quick as possible because those are the two cards that you want to see and then you've got three, i've got three copies of gale the whirlwind same thing as bora except this is a level three tuner and he can cut one monster's attack uh and defense and he is not once per turn so you can keep doing that just like you do with bora 
All right, and then we want run one uh, Gladius of Midnight Sun. This is a great disruptor. If you have exactly one Blackwing monster and nothing else, you can special summon this guy. So the idea is to get Simoon. He If he's in your hand or if uh, Oster's in your hand, search for him. Uh, and then special summon him with exactly one Simoon and then continue with your plays with Oster. And then this is a nice tech card. I dropped it down to one. Uh, Kalut the Moonshadow. This is essentially going to be your your Dark Honest or your Honest or your Honest Neos for Black Wings. Um, if you ha this becomes a hand trap to be able to give them an additional fourteen hundred. So you drop this when you attack or your opponent attacks when you're Black Wings, except for former Master, and you will gain four hundred fourteen hundred attack, kind of like a surprise. And then one copy of Blizzard the Far North. He'll revive a level four lower Black Wing monster when he is normal summoned. And then two copies of Hamart in the Dust. This can modify its level by selecting one Blackwing monster on the field. Also, it has the same effect that all the other ones do, that if you control Blackwing, you can special summon this from your hand. Um, so if you have a level 3, if you have Gale, you can use this to go into Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. Also, if you have this and Oster, you can use those two to go into full Armor Master. And then two copies of Oroshi the Squall. This will get an additional effect. Same thing as every of the other ones. Special summon from your hand. If you control Blackwing Monster. And if he's used as uh, Synchro Material, you can actually use his effect to switch a battle position of one face-up monster on the field. So that does come in handy. Alright, so that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's move on to the spells. So three copies of Black Orwin. This is essential. This is going to be your main card in this deck. Mainly because this is what's going to help you swarm the field like crazy and to be able to set up for all your plays if you have a if you normal summon a blackwing monster you can add from your deck to your hand a blackwing that is let has less attack than the one that you normal summon so if you have side moon you can bring you that the idea is to be able to get oster or be able to get gale or whatever to be able to add it to your hand to keep going with your plays and then three copies of a lore of darkness this is going to help you get into your black wings and dig deeper into your deck um, this will let you draw two cards and then banish, so that's what makes this card very vi viable and very important because you can draw your first two cards and then banish a card. And what makes this good is you can banish any of your black wings and then use Simoon to be able to get the monsters back, or to use Oster to be able to get it back. All right, and then we've got one copy of Rank Up Magic's uh, Soul Shade Force and one copy of Phantom Knight's Rank Up Now. The best thing about Black Wings is they are very versatile. They can pretty much go with any like any of the Phantom Knights or the Raid Raptors, which is exactly what this is. This is going to be used to go into your Cyber Dragon Infinity if you aren't using Simoon's effect because he Simoon does lock you into Dark Monsters. But if you're not using that, you can use this to go into Cyber Dragon Infinity from your graveyard to get that an additional negate. And this is to be able to go into your cyber not to go into your raid raptor ultimate falcon and because ultimate falcon is in here so being able to have him and full armor master is just crazy all right and then yes i'm gonna show you these right now these are banned so don't complain um i just didn't feel like taking out and putting them in harpy's feather duster and raigaki that's what these are supposed to be replaced for so yeah you can play whatever you want. This isn't supposed to be a tournament deck anyways. This is supposed to be a fun, casual deck. And a cheap alternative for Black Wings. So, I'm running these two in here. But like I said, you can replace these with Fregeki or Twin Twisters. Or you can replace it with the uh, Lightning Storm if you have it and everything. Whatever you choose. And then lastly, for the spells, we've got one Monster Reborn to be able to bring back your monster from you or your opponent's graveyard. And then let's move on to the Trap. So... Obviously, we're going to be running your Blackbird Close. This is going to help negate your opponent's monster effect. Tribute your Blackwing monster to special summon uh, Blackwing Dragon from your extra deck. And then, nice little tech card is going to be Eradicating Epidemic Virus. This is a very surprising card, in my opinion, because if you have a Blackwing, if you have a Dark Monster with 2,500 more attacks, say you have Raikiri, you tribute right carry, and then you select either spell or trap, and then your opponent has to either discard and destroy all copies of a spell or spell or trap, whichever you chose, and then whatever the cards for the next three turns, it would be a spell or trap, would be destroyed. This is a great way to cripple your opponent's deck. If you say, okay, okay say you're playing against a Cyber Dragon player, and um, you say, okay, we're going to select spell. 
well, then you select the spell, and then they pretty much have to discard all spell cards and destroy any spell cards on the field and everything. And then for the next few turns, any spell card that they draw is going to be immediately destroyed. So it really can cripple your opponent's deck. Or if they're playing a lot of traps, it's the same thing. That's why I love running in here because nobody's going to expect this face down. So you play it when you have like a Raikiri, you play it when you have a Black Wing of 2500 more attack. Bam, there you go. It's going to destroy everything on the field that is that one that you selected. All right, so that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's move on to the extra deck. So first, we have two of the Full Armor Masters. And I've said in my videos before, the I love the idea of being able to get double Full Armor Master. It's just something that has always appealed to me, and I just think it's so cool to be able to get these guys on the field because they can, they can actually steal your opponent's monster that has wedge counters on it every single time they activate an effect they actually gain get a wedge counter for it and then he can take control of the monster and then at the end phase of the turn he destroys all monsters that has on your opponent's side of the field that has wedge counters and he's so easy to bring out on the field because he's a level 10 but using him and oster with oster and simoon or oster and him in the dust and then one copy of raikiri the rain shower this is going to pop cards on the field based on the number of black wings that you have black wing armor master it's essentially going to be a Another full armor, except he just can't be destroyed by battle, and he doesn't have all the other effects with it. He just is unaffected by battle, and also, when they attack with it, the opponents will gain a wedge counter, so you can remove a wedge counter to make their attack and offense a zero. And then you have Chidori the Ring Sprinkling. Since this is a pure black wing deck, this guy can get stupid and crazy big. I mean, like, 5,000, 6,000 attack, because it gets 300 attack for each black wing monster in your graveyard. And then you have City and Tamer Hawk Joe. This um, is going to be able to bring back your level 5 or higher Black Wing monsters in your graveyard. So if you have a Moon, you can bring it back. Or if you have any of the other Synchros listed, you can bring those back as well. And then you have Nothrum the Starlight. This will give you an additional normal summon. And also will burn your opponent for 800 points of damage. And one of your opponent's monsters will lose 800 attacks. So... And we have the Black Wing Dragon. This is what's going to be used to bring out using Blackbird Clothes. And it's a 2800 Beat Stick. And then Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. This is a great alternative and option if you cannot afford Borderload Savage Dragon because essentially it is the same thing minus uh, being able to take a Link Monster from your graveyard and equip to it. You don't do that with this card. This is literally just, it banishes the card when it negates it. And it negates a spell trap or effect. I would say that's going to be it for the Synchros. As you can see, I play a lot of Synchros since this is a Blackwing deck. It's appropriate and pretty much this is what you're going to be wanting to do. Then we have one Ultimate Falcon. Um, this is just like Full Armor Master. It is unaffected by card effects. So hard to get off the field. And also has an additional negating effect. It shuts off your opponent's monsters by detaching a material. And also burns your opponent for 1,000 points of damage. Um, losing that, making them lose 1,000 attack. And if they control no face-up monsters, it inflicts 1,000 damage to your opponent. Just This is... An amazing card to be able to put in the second. It's very easy to bring out because all you have to do is have a four strix and then just remove from play the using rank up Phantom Knight's Force to be able and then just using that to go into him by banishing six. So it's very easy to do. I mean, because by then you're already using all these effects to be able to turbo all your black wings into the graveyard by being able to synchro, exceed, and all that. So this is just. Being able to get him out is like a cakewalk, and he is so hard to get off the field because since he's 3,500, he pushes that over that 3,000 limit and makes it difficult to get him off the field. Plus, since he's unaffected by anything, yeah, they're going to have a really, really hard time getting him off the field. And then I run the Cyber Dragon Infinity because this is going to be your Omni Negate 2. This is what you're going to be using with the Force Strix to equip Force Strix or uh, to go into Force Strix from the graveyard and this. This will negate and steal your opponent's monster. And then you have one... Four Strix, this is going to be used to search your deck for your Black Wings and everything and add them to your hand by uh, detaching an Exceed material. And then Ice Beast Zephron, if you, Zeph Zero Fine, if you want to put in another Four Strix, you totally can because honestly that would be a little bit more beneficial. But also you can use this because it's a fun tech card and it kind of shuts off all your opponent's negates or shuts off all your opponent's effect monsters and he it gains 300 attack for each monster that's on the field. And then lastly, for the Link, we've got Borlo Dragon because this deck gets ridiculous. If you want to replace this with an Appaloosa, um, you can. Just be warned with the Simoon. 
you won't be able to go into it. This is a better alternative, in my opinion. And then why Strix to be able to search your deck for your Zephyrus, the Elites, if you did not draw it, to be able to go even further into your plays. Alright, so that's going to be it for this deck profile. I just wanted to show you, like I've done before, a cheaper alternative to be able to play Black Wings because they're so much fun. I love Black Wings, and I love playing a lot of, and just how fast and how ridiculous they are. Um, it just shows you that Black Wings, you can play. It's an alter It's definitely an alternative. You don't have to buy all the unnecessary cards and everything that you see listed with commanding prices because a lot this game can be expensive. Um if you choose to go with that route. So this is more of a more budget-friendly deck profile, and I actually played with this deck for a long, long time before I actually uh, upgraded my Blackwing deck because this was a lot more affordable, and it it's just it does just as good, and it does give a lot of decks a run for their money because of how you know quick and fast it can be. Dropping cards already, haha. <laughs> So that's going to be it for this deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. And just, I've got a lot of other content coming. Uh, stay tuned. I've got my new Blackwing deck profile. Going to be posted up soon, right after this video. I think you're really going to enjoy that because I actually did change it up quite a bit. Um, it still has a lot of the same stuff in here, but I actually added a few new cards in here. And you're going to be like, it really, really does work. And then I'm probably going to do a combo tutorial about that to show you how, how it plays. Um, I'm going to be running the small world package with them and Radian, Radeon, so definitely be on the lookout for that. And I'll be able to make sure I'll show you a combo but tutorial of it to be able to show you how to play it. Because small world is very, very good. It it really is a great card to be able to get search out your black wings and that into your hand. So if you didn't get like Simon and stuff, or even get Zephyros or get something that you need, it makes it to where you can. And it just makes the deck so much faster. I'm so happy to be able to bring out like Armor Master pretty much like every game. And then like all my negates and Kali Yuga. So, alright. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot longer than I expected. Um, I guess I tend to ramble sometimes like that. So, with that, see you guys next time. Later.